In this screencast, we'll demonstrate a tech preview of using Quantum as an external network provider in Overt. As you can see, we've already defined a data center. On the data center, we've defined a cluster. And in the cluster, we added two hosts that have a Quantum Linux Bridge agent running on them. Taking a look at the network's view, we can see that we have the default management network on our data center. Now let's go over to the external providers view. Here we can see that currently we have no providers. So let's add Quantum as an external provider. We'll press add, name it Quantum, enter a short description, and let's put in the URL of the Quantum Management Server. Now we can see that Quantum has been added as a provider to Overt. As we can see, there are no networks that we imported from Quantum yet. In order to add networks from Quantum, we'll click the Discover button. In the dialog, we can see a network named External Blue with its ex external ID from Quantum. Moving over to the Quantum service, which we access through the REST client, we can query for the networks on our Quantum server. Here we can see the external blue network identified by the external ID that we saw in Overt. Let's add a network called external red network. I already prepared the definition of the network in my text editor. Now I'm adding the network by posting it to the quantum service. Now let's query the list of networks from quantum again. Now we can see that we have two networks, external blue and external red, which we just added. Back to Overt. When we click Discover this time, the new, new external red network appears. Now we'll choose which data center we want to import the network into. We'll select the network named external red, which is what we want to import. On the right-hand column, we can see a checkbox that can be selected for each network. Ticking this box means that we grant permissions for any Overt user that would like to use this network. If we choose not to tick the checkbox, we can always grant permissions to specified users later. Let's click Import and make this network available to Overt users. You can see that the external red network from Quantum now exists in Overt. And we can also see the same network in the network's view. Notice that the provider column specifies that the external red network is provided by Quantum. Now we'll go over to the Clusters sub-tab and attach the network to our cluster. We'll set the network to Not Required, since at the moment we can't tell which hosts in the cluster have this network. Switching over to the Virtual Machines view, here we have two predefined virtual machines with no virtual interfaces defined on them. Let's add a virtual interface to VM1. We'll press New. And here we'll choose the external red network that we added from Quantum. As you can see, the network interface has been added to the VM. 